Hello and welcome to another Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham and today we're going to talk about templates, the ones that come with Illustrator and how to make your own. When you open Illustrator you get a welcome screen which allows you to open recent things that you've worked on or create new documents from some preset profiles. And by the way, if you don't like seeing this welcome screen, you can check Don't Show Again in the lower left corner here. And if you want to get it back, it's under the Help menu. You can also create a new document from a template. This folder on the welcome screen takes you directly to the templates folder located inside the Adobe Illustrator folder. Inside the templates folder, there are subfolders containing blank templates and things for various businesses. Notice on the open dialog box, it says new instead of open. And that's because a template is not a regular Illustrator file. So anytime you open a template, you are opening a brand new document. So I'm going to open this stationary document that one might use for a nightclub. There's a letterhead, an envelope, a handbill, and a business card. These are all on their own artboards, and they have crop marks and bleed marks. You'll notice that the template also comes with the swatches that are used by the document. It comes with brushes, and these little cityscapes are actually custom brushes. And it also comes with paragraph styles that are built into this document. And that's to ensure consistency. Anytime you needed to add an employee and print a business card or change the letterhead, everything would be in the same type style. This template also has layers set up, one for printer marks, one for the artwork, and one for the text. So you can see how this can save you a lot of time. You don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you need to make a business card. To get a better idea of how templates are built, you can examine any of these in the templates folder. The extension for an Illustrator template is .AIT, and the icon looks a little bit different as well. Making your own template is as easy as saving a file. I have a business card document, and as before, the layers are set up, the paragraph styles are included, I've made symbols out of the logos to have as a library in case I need them, and I have graphic styles for the drop shadow on the logos. In addition to all the graphics and styles in a template, you can also save the views. For example, in this document, I've saved close-up views of each card so that I can work on them easily. And those custom views will be preserved when I save it as a template. To save as a template, simply go to the File menu and choose Save as Template. And in the dialog box, you can see that the template format is already selected for you. If you're in the habit of using the keyboard shortcuts for Save As, you can simply choose Template as the format in the drop-down menu. Give your template a name and save it. And now when you go to open that template again, you'll see that the document's name is untitled. That's because when you open a template, you're opening a new version of that template. And this is so you can create a brand new document without overriding any of the settings in the template. Using templates is one of the easiest ways to speed up your workflow.